So here is the saw that uh, quit working on me the other day. Um, I've had this guy for a while and it's uh, gone through a lot. I have not treated it with um, the most respect. You can see here how rusty the blade is. This is actually a relatively new blade. Um, my hope is that the brushes are just um, worn out. My fear is that years of use in rainy, muddy conditions, which we often find ourselves here in the Pacific Northwest, um, have killed it. So let's uh, take out the brushes and see if that's the problem. I'm going to also take the blade off while I'm working on this edge to uncut myself. I think this comes with an Allen key on it somewhere. Where's the Allen key? I'm so sure that this one had an Allen key. I hear it. No? Hmm. I guess it's the other one that has the Allen key on it. There's plenty of meat left on that. So, mm. let's just verify that this battery works. I'll grab another tool and just uh, check that. Alright, the battery's fine. The brushes are good. Ain't nothing to it but to take it apart. Oof, that's disgusting. I brought you up close to show my shame. That's filthy in there. Um, cool. Now let's try cleaning it out. Uh, get some compressed air and uh, give this guy a blow. All right, Let's see, we have the switch. It's got three wires, although only two are connected. Um, I guess this is just on off. I don't remember if it's in a speed control. All right, the switch works fine. A little dusty. The next thing I'd worry about is, okay, this is the motor controller. This is a brush motor, um, but something being dead in here, but that's all potted in there. That's not going to uh, 
easy to di diagnose. Check that everything is just pressed on well. Let's try sticking the battery in now. Right. There goes a hope for a very easy fix, which would have been one of these stake ons being loose, but no, I think that was in all the way. Yeah, it's as good as it goes. All right, the next thing to check is the motor itself. Well, wow, that one's in tight. So much for the theory that CBD oil will uh, chill out the dog. I just heard him outside, he'd gotten into the pastures and was harassing the cows. The cows didn't really seem to mind, which is good, but I brought him back here to, to relax. But going out for a walk um, brought me to my senses. Rather than turning this video into a yet another YouTube screw extraction video, I'm going to use my smarts, theoretically, and see if we can work on what's wrong here from an electrical perspective. Um, so, first thing, we'll test the switch. Come on. That's interesting. Oh, it's because the battery's in. Duh. That's so much for my smarts. Take the battery out. We had continuity through the battery. Get my gut out of the way. All right, switch is working fine. So let's trace some voltage. So there's three wires coming out of the battery. I'm assuming negative, positive, and probably something on a thermocouple. Just checking that the battery's good and this thing will shut it down if the battery overheats. Um, let's just check the voltage. I don't know, can you see that? Uh, let's get it the right way around. All right, 20 volts, 19.4 volts. I think this is nominally an 18 volt system. Um, theoretically, given my understanding of electronics, if I press the button, press the switch, the motor should turn because it gets voltage. So let's go across the motor brushes. Now I've removed one of the brushes so the motor won't turn, but we shall, should still see voltage here. Nothing. Right, so we have 19 volts to there. 19 volts to there. Nothing to the other side of the switch as expected when it's not depressed. 
press the switch, it works. So we'll be getting 19 volts to here. And this is hard doing with one hand and a camera. One moment, I'm going to get my clippy probes. Alright, so pressing this switch, we should see 19 volts. Yeah, great. So, circuit from here on the positive side is all working. Um, let's check continuity between the negative battery terminal and this brush. Hmm. hmm. That sounded like there was continuity. Let's try with these probes where I have better control. So the question is, if there's continuity there, why isn't the thing running and getting voltage here uh, when you press the button? My guess is that what happens is this thing is a switch that's in sort of the normally closed state effectively in here. This thing gets power when you depress the button, so it's currently unpowered. And then when you depress the button, uh, we lose continuity to this guy. Um, or we should gain it. Hmm. I don't know. I'm suspecting this guy's no good. Probably a really quick and easy way to test is just to supply directly 20 volts to the motor and see if the motor's good. Because if it's not this guy, it's the motor, and if it's not the motor, it's this guy. So let's go over to the workbench and plug it into a power supply. Sounds like the motor's trying. Let's try taking it up to 18 volts. I'm not a huge fan of this UI here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, 18 volts, 0.3 amps. Crazy puppy. Hmm. We're getting overcurrent protection kicking in. Um, let's try taking the amperage up. Probably not a good idea, but take it up to 1.3 amps. The motor is fucked. Oh well, I guess. Oh wow. I can't remember if that thing actually used to be this hard to turn. That's not a good sign. Alright, let's get this screw out and see what happened to our motor. So I got this guy off, the gearbox, that spins just fine. The motor feels real chunky. Now, I'm not Canadian, but I don't think it's supposed to feel like this. I wonder how it comes out. That is yes. Or it's all bit. Let's have a look at it. Or just pull one out the front. There we go. All right. Why was it so ka chunk ka chunk so maybe the, there was no bearing at the back or something. I don't know if my head's in the way. It feels like it's rubbing against the permanent magnets. Come 
So I was kind of perplexed. Like when I first put the multimeter on here to uh, see if there was voltage, when I pressed the trigger, I wasn't seeing much. Um, then when I took apart the motor, it looked like it was shorted out. It just feels real chunky in here. And so I'm sitting here and look at this. I hope this is in frame. Let's move this guy. There you go. It's trying, and you can't smell it, but magic smoke be coming out of this guy. So, I think the reason why I'm not getting a voltage difference along here is it's basically it's either shorted or this guy's dead. Uh, but this guy's definitely dead. Smoke's coming out. You can see there's a little screw here and the smoke was coming out of this corner. This is where it feels warm. Um, it's toast. I'm not sure what failed first. I'm guessing the motor... I, I can't work out what died mechanically. Um, someone will tell me. I'm sure I'm missing something obvious. Um, but the motor died. Drew too much current here. Killed this guy. Um, anyway, that's my theory. I think Unfortunately, this guy is toast. Um, I feel like I should say a few words, you know. Live the good life. Alright, I'm sure you'll all tell me down below what obvious things I'm missing, but um, I think it's time to buy a new saw. So.